Hi, welcome to my channel, Anita Photography. Today's video is gonna be about making newborn photography prop. I hope the content you find useful. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to add a comment in the comments. <laughs> in the comments bit so that I know what kind of content you'd like me to include in future videos. Um, so, without blocking my whole head, this is um, a bed that my father and I made. Um, I'm going to show you the process in a moment of how we got here, but these fabrics I just got ooh, in a charity shop down the road. Um, so you can use anything really. I'm going to like literally pull it apart now. Um, <laughs> there's my baby. <laughs> I'm going to take her out. And then that's just a rug that I got from, where did I get that? I did, I shipped that one over. And then that's like a, a potato sack. And I don't know where I got that on, maybe eBay. So this is the final bed. In a minute, we'll, I'll show you, go backwards and show you what um, we did to get here. But <laughs> me and my dad kind of just played with ideas. All it is, is one, two, so it's like, I think it's like two floorboards and we just saw, saw where it needed sawing to make it into the pieces we need. So it's like one, two, the bed head, the foot of the bed, and then we sawed it even smaller to make the little pieces on the back. And then, so that was just like super easy. And that didn't take a lot of time to do. The frame was more fiddly. So when you see the video, You'll see how it did need two of us to do it, chopping these little bits of wood as well. The, again, even the floorboards are free because most people get love conversions and you can just like rummage in a skip and ask permission if you can take, if you see something like sticking out, I have no shame in asking, can I have that? And generally people are so nice. Yeah, so it's really easy to put the frame. Once you put the frame together, then this video will make sense of the rest. So I think it probably we should watch the rest of the video and then I'll feed back at the end. Right, let's start going down. Now do it. This is the bed. <laughs> this is a bed. It's for a baby. <laughs> now I'm going to construct it. And I'm making some addition to it. Yeah. Some decoration. Yeah. Right? So we're going to make uh, it into a lovely full post bed. If you like it, uh, do a th <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs yeah. Up. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh God, Dad. So this, this wood is oak. It's oak that we found yeah. growing in the garden. It's very strong in the garden. Cut it, dried it. I think anything in life you could make it good. Yeah. And how did we make the bed, Dad? We, we, we made the bed with with piece of wood. Floorboards? Floorboard. It came from the floor of the house. Yeah. Right. And then you made yeah. a bed. You make a bed. It's simple. It's not difficult. It's for a baby. Yeah. And then we went in the garden, in the garden. and we got pieces of four, wood. Four, four pieces of wood. Well, we cut the wood to size. To I size. think we think it's an oak tree that was sprouting in out. An oak tree, and uh, it's taken from our fence, and it is beautiful. It is going to be beautiful. Yeah. It's all rustic and lovely. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. So do, do, do carry thing. on. Yeah. Tying wood. Tie it hard, okay? Yeah. And then you make the bed, then this is the, the finish of the job. Yeah, the bed has now been completed yeah. and this is the finished product as an engineer, ex-engineer yeah. and I use my brain which is left. Simplicity is the key to success. 
good advice from my daughter and I'll be able I've been able to do it <laughs> the way it should have been done. Yeah. So, to make it look nice. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I hope this video was useful. I hope you enjoyed watching me and my dad put together this bed. Um, I really enjoyed it, to be fair. For me, even if it turned out wrong, it doesn't matter because I had a nice time doing something creative with my dad and, and even that, like, it's fun. So, like, if it goes wrong, don't worry. <laughs> you like, there are other options, there are other things to make as well. I might do one on, a, like, a basket or just something a bit more straightforward because the only thing with a prop like this is that I would say don't let it be your first newborn shoot if you try and do something like this. I would never suggest working with something with like raw pieces of wood unless you know what you're doing with the baby. Um, I, I'm, I've had a lot of experience working with newborns so I know what I'm doing. Um, there are splinters, it's raw wood. You have to make sure the baby is so well carefully swaddled and put in place with not anything touching him or her. It's so important to look after the baby. Sometimes people don't emphasize just how important it is to, to protect the child and the safety of the, the baby. I do a lot of disclaimers when um, I shoot as well often. So the parents know and feel safe with the work that I do, but equally they are part of the process if it's something complicated. So I hope you've I hope you've learned something new today. I hope it was of use to you. Um, please put a thumbs up. Click yeah. Uh, please click a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and like if you like the content. Or it won't just be about things like this. I'm hoping to do lots of videos and lots of different things related to photography, and hopefully it will be of good use. Yeah, it can be very off-putting when you start a photography business and but it's nice to get some help. Um, I didn't really have that when I started, so I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching, bye. This is a bed for the baby. <laughs> <laughs>